guys, it's Dr. Carter, and we're gonna do an ingrown toenail. I've already got him numbed up and ready to go, so let's get in. All right, so we painted it with Betadine. He's a nice, pretty shade of orange at this point. It goes very well with him. And first things first, we're gonna put a tourniquet on it, just on that toe, to make sure that the blood flow is not gonna be there and wash my medicine away. As we've talked about 12 times, some people choose to not use a tourniquet, but I think it increases the effectiveness of my procedure. Um, let's see if you can feel this, honey. Anything there? Pressure? Yeah. Hmm? It feels good? Okay. You let me know if you feel anything but pressure, okay? Okay. So the first thing I do is I loosen the nail from the cuticle, from the surrounding skin. He's already had a procedure on the other side, so he kind of knows what to expect. A few weeks ago, this was a lot worse. He actually was on an antibiotic from his family doctor and that helped to get rid of some of the redness and the swelling and the drainage. Now we go on the underside and loosen it. That's gonna enable me to get my nippers under there so I can cut it. Because he's already had a procedure on the other side, I don't wanna take an enormous section because I want him to have a nail that looks cosmetically nice. However, we have to make sure we take enough that we fix the problem. Now, that was a really deep one. When I put it back up there, oh my goodness, that comes almost to the tourniquet. I always kind of clean out the area just to make sure that I got all the nail out and then I didn't miss anything. And then this is our chemical. Of course, we use sodium hydroxide here in the office. There are other chemicals that are acceptable as well, but this one I find gives me less of a reaction afterwards and makes it easier to tolerate for the patient. All right, three applications of about 10 seconds each. Sometimes I will scrape again just to make sure. And then here's our last one. This solution is neutralized with vinegar. So when I'm finished, I will douse it with vinegar to stop the cooking process. Um, make sure I get all of the chemical off the skin. Now, you're gonna notice some redness. You're gonna notice some drainage. The drainage may have a yellowish discoloration to it and all of that's perfectly normal, okay? Um, if the redness were to come down to this tourniquet, to that first joint, that's when we could have a possible infection. That doesn't happen very commonly at all though, okay? So you just look at it and you let me know. So I remove the tourniquet. If we leave that on, he could lose a toe and that's not what we're shooting for. And then Tara's gonna wrap it for me. All right, there you have it guys. That's an ingrown toenail removal. Super simple, super painless. So if you have one, you make sure that you call and for an evaluation.